A morning of running errands for Dora Kassarin turned into the nightmare we've all experienced one time or another. And I locked myself out of the car. Then, as it usually does, things got worse. I, I look at my purse and I don't have my cell phone. She went inside the food lion to use the manager's phone. Then came her next problem. Without a cell phone, the only number I know is my home number. As the panic started to set in, Kassarin says she noticed something out of the corner of her eye. The sky kept looking at me. A guy she says she's never met before. He had this white beard and white hair. But knows very well. He looked like Santa Claus. She, that is just so weird because I feel like this feeling. As she continued to worry about her situation, the man approached her. And he said, is there anything I can help you with? And seriously, the way he looked at me, I was like, oh my God, is this Santa Claus? Then she told him what happened. Seriously, without hesitation, he went into his pockets. I said, here. Go get your spare key and come right back. Something she never expected. I never thought, I mean, like, would anybody do this for someone else? Would I do this for someone else? Santa would. Uh, a car's a car. People's lives matter. Santa says it's not that big of a deal, but Kassarin says it was big enough to change her day. So I was walking out, he turns around, he's like, hey, and I turned around and he said, Merry Christmas. And I was like, that's it. I just started crying. I went home. A simple gesture this time of year. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> that brought her some Christmas cheer. <laughs> In Sneed's Ferry. Merry Christmas. Hannah Patrick, WWAY News Channel 3.